Hello everyone, this is going to be a really weird setup for about the next week. I finally got my new computer and that means a lot of new equipment and changes are coming uh, this way. So some of my settings may be off the game, some of my sound may seem different. I'm using a different headset, I'm on a different computer, and my video recording software I was using is currently giving me a little bit of pushback on this computer. Therefore, I don't have my intro, I don't have my outro, and I was actually going to change those things already. Therefore, it's not that bad of a time to maybe have this happen to me. I didn't really want it to happen to me, but if it's to happen during the change, this was about the time to do it because I was already planning on it, maybe in the next month or two, once I get back from my one vacation I'm going to be going on. But I definitely still want to get videos out, that's no excuse not to, so I definitely want to do that for you guys. And I definitely want to de-stealth that, man. Now. Some channel updates. I am actually... I just created my Patreon, my Twitch, and my Subscribestar. I created a lot of stuff recently. So that's something. Um, now that I do have my new computer, and this will be my home for the next probably three to four years easy, I will be looking into mods finally for Darkest Dungeon this week and maybe even next week depending on how much pushback i get via my software and the problems i face it's going to be a lot of live runs i apologize about that but i can't do anything if my recording software isn't doing what's supposed to be doing what i will look into in the meanwhile some like free ones so i can pump out a couple of videos but quality may be down for about the next two weeks guys i apologize for that and those may be in the areas of audio and and just general video and the reason why audio might be different is I'm actually using a headset for live runs now. Because the way I have my other mic set up, I have to really lean forward a lot. And it's really uncomfortable for my back after a while. But I will definitely still do the other audio, just because I do think it really captures my voice better. Well, I'm not sure yet. I think it captures my voice better. And also, it's just easier to manipulate than this audio I have on my mic. It's just a weird preference of mine. But definitely for live runs... I will be using the headset audio. If it's unbearable, if it's too low and I can't make it too loud, I will definitely be going back to the other one. It's just with the headset audio, I can kind of move around, I can shift and not worry about my audio changing so much differently. And it should, in a way, save me time on my editing of audio, which will be much better. So those are all things to come. Now I'm gonna, enough about me and the channel and stuff, I'm gonna get back to Darkest Dungeon now. I'm doing a short battle room in the cove here, and I'll be doing probably, hopefully, maybe three to four Let's Plays, well, I call them Let's Plays, but live runs here for you guys this week, because I feel like I haven't pumped out that many videos, and I'm not going to with a lot of these changes, as I just said. Uh, if you're curious what I got for a computer, I did go with a NVIDIA's graphics card. I actually went with the 2070 uh, Super. I went kind of higher end on my PC this time. Last time I went middle of the road, this time I went a little higher because of all the video editing I'm doing and also I think by going a little higher some of the prices weren't bad and I think I can, you know, I'll beat some of those things coming up, but that, that's not beside the point. And then I got a 3700 AMD processor, which um, we'll see how that does. A little stuff loads really quickly and everything looks pretty good, so I'm satisfied so far. I know the processor doesn't do looks, but everything's running well, just as it should be for the amount of money I spent. Then I got 32 gigs of RAM, so all that video editing and then processing and uploading, hopefully I can do that faster, therefore I can reduce my editing time, I can increase the games I can play and also record, because it used to be I could play some of the games, but once I added a recording aspect to them, they just fell apart. Now, what is also going to be weird is, and it might throw me off, I might have a couple of bad runs, is I'm currently working off a single monitor again. I know how awful, but that means I can't see what I'm recording, so sometimes I might be recording and my mic might be off, and I'll never know until I get to the very end. And that's going to be obviously problematic if something wasn't working correctly. So these first couple of runs are going to be rough. I'm just asking you, please bear with me. I should be back up and running full speed within a week or two here. I just didn't want to take a whole week off not doing videos without any communication to you guys. Because since you guys do subscribe and you generally look for weekly uh, weekly content, I want to give it. And also I do like enjoying, well, I do like doing these videos. So that is something I want to keep doing. 
and we're almost at the end of this dungeon. I know I haven't explained too much. This is what I call just a powerhouse lineup. I mean, you got these two guys that decimate the first three, then she can take care of whoever. So this is a really just disturbing lineup in the sense of just damage. It's strong specific damage, strong AoE damage. I mean, you name it, it's there. It will utterly wreck your day. So now we're going to uh, Shrapnel Blast and pretty much Grape Shot. I always say Shrapnel. That's what the... Ooh, that's an unfortunate dodge. Um, that's what the Fusiliers do. They do Shrapnel Blast, I believe. It's the same thing, essentially. It just doesn't hit all four members. Grape Shot, Shrapnel, whatever. Whatever have you. Um, I do have one healer in here. I don't have any stress heals. That's because I wasn't too worried about stress healers. Because the amount of damage I can do and stuff really doesn't warrant me to have a full-time stress healer. These guys could do that, but even then, uh, on my D stealth, it's really not a point. Yeah, there's not really a point. Because they'll probably get to go before me, yeah, so. Yeah, I don't want to D stealth because they'll probably go before me. I'm going to take a little bit of stress on my way out here, but that's not too bad. What is it going to be, like 30 maybe? Uh, he's going to die. Yeah, so 15 stress. That's not even, that's not an issue. Clear that body. We'll bring him forward and we'll just whatever him. Oh, I actually bring him before it was bad, because I couldn't abyssal him. But it doesn't really matter, we'll heal. The only way this ends up bad is he gets to go first, which is possible, but not probable. There we go. Dead. Decimated. So, thanks for sticking with me, guys. I'm definitely going to get you guys many, many more Let's Play videos, and my next one I do will be less heavy on the channel updates. Is there another fight I can do? Let's go see what these uh, curios are while I talk a little bit. Ooh, that's nice. I don't think I have any negative quirks to get rid of. If you're very new to the game, uh, these with the medicinal herbs will get rid of negative quirks, which will save you literally thousands of dollars in the uh, late game and early game. So those are definitely things you should keep an eye out for. I think the code was a pretty good source of those. Um, I am working on my room statistics, but once again, I don't want to start recording any audio if I record in the one program then have to get rid of it. I'm going to essentially lose all that hard work I just did, and that's just, that's a huge no-no. I don't want to record and then lose all that, but I do have the script being written, so once I finally get down to the program I want, I will definitely, definitely do that. The Mana Arms, sadly, I was like halfway there, and then... Obviously, I lost all my progress. I could go back to my old computer, but that would require me to like unplug, replug everything. It's just not worth it. I wanna, I wanna commit to this. So, thanks you for sticking around, guys. The thumbnails and all that are gonna be a little iffy as of now, but eventually, I'll get back up to normal speed. Thank you. Like and subscribe below.